pins to your puppy so you get it. Jones <laughs> All right, cool. Um, it's just, just, I want to do this as an explanation why we do this drill, okay? So if, I, if you get against the wall, it stops some of the movement we're going to do. So if you stand in front, mate. Um, Mo's going to hit me, for, just so he misses me, he's just going to show the shot. So, fa so just so it misses my face. So I know it's coming there. So what I do now is I put my guard up where I'm comfortable. Normally kind of eyebrows tight on. And as he goes, whichever hand he goes with, I'm going to parry. And it just gets you used to that drill a little bit, yeah? And he may, and he may do a double left and a straight right. And I've just got to try and watch him and don't assume and just react. Now and then you're going to hit the, the, the wrong hand as a block. But if you can, try and hit the same arm. So if he hits me with that one, I do it really slow. And I do there, I've now opened myself up on that side. Can you see it? Mm. That makes sense. But if he hits me with that one and I block it, I'm, I'm safe on that side because I've still got my guard up. So that's the major thing, yeah? So you start off with that drill nice and easy. You're not going to catch everyone, do what you can. Because sometimes it's going to be a lot quicker than this as well, don't forget. So now, really go quick. So even if I don't catch, even most of the time I'm still protected. What I don't want to do, go really slow, is stop the block out there. I don't want to parry out here, I want to parry tight. Just a touch. Because I want to be still in a defensive place. I don't want to be there and now he can double bluff me. So if I do that with you, if you block this out here, that's what they'll do. They'll trick and they'll go around. So his idea now, if he stays tight, is just to block it just there. Just a little tap, pop, um, more, just, just there, touch. Pop, pop, pop. So now if I start going, it gets scary, but I'm not going to hurt him. And it, it gets you used to that, because it's very natural for us to flinch, especially when you're learning. So you want to get around the whole, oh, I'm afraid of it, and just have fun with it. He can go as fast now as he wants, because I know he's not going to hit me. But he's going to feel real, because he's super tight. Yeah? And now, like I said, you want to get used to trying not to, because it's very natural for us to put our hands very far out. Try and get in the habit of just doing it here. Keep going, <laughs> so making sure everyone's paying attention <laughs> right, ne next one would be you go from that into just getting used to covering because sometimes you're going to need to do that just cover up so he hits me head and body and I've got to keep looking not the nuts <laughs> keep going so this teaches me to keep looking and it's it, like I said in the beginning go super slow just for a second in the, in the beginning just get used to it gently I would say, if they're going to hit you in the body, just drop your elbow, just a touch, get your hand back up straight away. Because most people, they'll, they'll do a headshot to get the body or vice versa. So get used to taking, but if I can see every shot, I'm good. Now, as he's ready, he starts building up the speed. Now, you'll notice here, if I do take my hands away, I'm actually going to get hit this time. So I've got to make sure I'm covering as much as I can all the time. Like I said, a few will get through, but it's going to get you a lot. I mean, I'm talking as well. And I'm still making it look good. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. You like that? So now what you do, you get your partner against the wall and you call it. So I say to him, just parry him. Just cover him. And he's got to keep looking. And every now and then, if you find he's, he's got too tense so he's not looking, you bring him back. Because your best critique is going to be your partner saying to you, mate, I'm catching you a bit there, watch that side. It's not I'm trying to beat you, it's I'm just trying to make you better. So I'll do a couple of, if he starts getting good at this, just do parrying for me. If he starts getting good at this, I'll just switch it up a bit. Make it a tiny bit higher. But look, if he puts his hands down, nothing, there's no threat. I'm not going to catch him. I'm too. Now if I say cover, he's got a proper cover up. And now, once you get better at it, start being realistic. Because another big thing as beginners is actually getting hit. So if we go here now, and he hits me a few times on the head. I just get used to absorbing the shots a little bit. If he goes round for the hook, I'm going to put it round near my ear. If he goes straight on, I'm just going to get used to absorbing. And some of you will admit this. So first time you get here, you go, no, this isn't meant to happen. You are not going to be able to move past every shot. Whether you like it or not, we're going to get caught. Yeah? So there's going to be someone better than us. So get used to covering and stay safe and be brave. And then he can say, go back to parrying. Parry. Just parrying and getting back to that again. Come on. And body as well. Body. And now we can go faster and as hard as he's comfortable and we get comfortable with it together. So that's the drill we're going to do now. Both of those when you first do it. You start off slow, build your partner's confidence. Yeah. As soon as you think, oh, they're getting it, just go a bit quicker. You want to catch him out a little bit because that's how they're going to keep getting better. 
Good? Yeah. Good. Stay beautiful. <laughs> fast! Double jab, straight right, double jab, mix it up. Straight in the face, fast! Come on, fast! 